Hey guys, welcome to Rod's World, and look where I'm at! Where am I? I have dementia. Alright, no, I'm kidding. But I tricked you guys because I'm actually not here right now, I'm at the airport. Going home. I don't want to go home. Yes, yeah, see, we are in the airport, and the thing is, is we got here late. So I'm really hoping we did not miss our flight. <laughs> Crossing my fingers that we make it. Well guys, there goes our plane. We're stuck here till Thursday, and we have competitive dance. Yay. And my mom has a very important meeting tonight too, so. Bye plane we were supposed to go on. <laughs> See guys, this is why I vlog, because this stuff happens to me. I have no idea what else to do. <laughs> I, we're stuck here till Thursday, and actually, it's not a good thing. No, I wish. <laughs> so guys, I love this. The fact that we when we checked in, they didn't give us our boarding pass, right? So I had to run all the way back down there to get help. No, nope, nobody was there. I went past the security, you're not allowed to pass, knocked on their door, some random person entered, oh no, 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 I don't work here. You do work here, you work at the airport. Contact somebody, that's all I'm saying. But no, they wouldn't. And then like, we finally just got through security. There goes our plane. We came to the desk here, and of course there's nobody here. I'm beginning to think that nobody actually works for Allegiant. Because, as you see, I, I, I don't know. So, I mean, everything will work out, but it's very stressful for everybody. And I also want to add in the fact that we were here 15 minutes before the plane was supposed to depart. Should have been an employee here. I don't know why there wasn't. I don't know. I don't know anymore, guys. If I look on your site, so my dad just finished talking to a manager, but the thing is, is they are not actually a manager with Allegiant. There's actually no employee of Allegiant on this ground, which makes zero sense. They should have one in every airport that they fly out of. And yeah, he's like, oh, well, I can't do anything. Here's a number. So he threw a number at us. So we're phoning right now to complain. And we still do have our luggage in this airport. So that's a good thing. And yeah, so we're phoning that number to complain and hopefully something comes up because yeah, he was just like, well, there's nothing. I can do. The pilots knew that they had a couple more customers still in this airport and we're like, okay, we're gonna be there. We're running there. They would not wait one second past that 15 minute mark. Yeah. Great customer service, Allegiant. Oh, and I totally forgot to add the fact that we checked in, the lady's like, oh, well, the plane's already left. But it hadn't because it was a half hour beforehand. We are convinced as a passive aggressive maneuver, she said that we did not need our boarding passes. Yeah, because she, my parents both clarified with her, do we need a boarding pass? And she's like, no, no, you're good. Yeah, liar. Oh, and I also totally forgot to mention, as I'm trying to hug my mom and comfort her, every time I try to do this, this lady who also missed the flight comes up, excuse me, excuse me, I'm like, can I comfort my mom first? I don't mind helping, but I gotta help my family, I gotta comfort my mom, because because obviously this is very stressful for her, so you know, I'm trying to comfort my mom, and this lady keeps on trying to interrupt, and I'm like, let me comfort my mom first, then I'll help you, because we're in the same boat, and I cannot talk for Allegiant for them. So I was like, you gotta talk to Allegiant, just like I do. And here's the funny thing, is the fact that, you know how Allegiant would not wait the extra minute? It's funny because I've been on planes where we've waited 20 minutes or longer for people to come into the plane. And Reagan was just saying that when she went to Mexico, they waited for a half an hour. So it's nothing like, I mean, people, if, if they know that there's somebody running late, people will be like, okay, fine, that's okay. My dad just finished talking to them on the phone. And actually it's a step in the right direction. They refunded us our trip down and back up and all the fees that we paid in addition to for baggage and stuff like that. So they refunded us that, but they won't get us a ticket on another plane because they are not affiliated with any other airline. It's like they won't even pick up a phone and say, hey, can we book these tickets? No. Oh. So we have to find our own way back there. So Correct. we're trying to figure, we're just trying yeah, to find a way to get back to the, the to American Northwest. Yeah. Anywhere, like Seattle, Vancouver, anything. Okay. So we're so, in the right okay, direction. So that so flight leaves at three from hopefully, LAX to... I think I actually yeah. got something. So guys, there is one bonus for today. My dad actually just found this out there. Five bucks. We missed our flight, we get five bucks. I don't know if that makes up for it, but it's... <laughs> yeah, Pizza Hut, five bucks, five bucks. I can't even say it. I don't like their slogan. But yeah, we missed our flight, we got five dollars. I don't know if that makes up for it though. 
my god, guys, that was crazy. Did you guys see the guy playing virtual reality? Uh, they'll tell us. Tell I have never seen a person playing virtual reality in an airport before. It's kind of cool. Hey, guys, look, it's Allegiant. And there's still nobody there. Right? They should have somebody there at all times, especially when there's a plane there. Right? Oh, that lady. Haha, -ha, guys, we made it through security for the second time today at the same airport. But we are flying with Alaska this time, and it's so much better. Oh my god. It was funny, when we were trying to check in, we were originally in the line, and the lady's like, oh, you can't be in this line, you can't be in this line. And we're like, fine. So we went over to the machines, did the thing at the machines, and it said, oh, you gotta go back to that line. So we went back to the line, and the lady's like, oh, you don't go through that line. We're like, can we just talk to somebody? But the lady that we got actually at the end of the line was amazing. Thank you so much, Tanisha, you rock. Oh, and it was funny, when I went through security, the guy's like, are you wearing under anything under the kilt? I'm like, are you, gonna, are you gonna like do a strip search or something? He's like, no, no, God, no, 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 you, no. <laughs> so <laughs> it was quite funny. Anyways, guys, we are now on the proper side of the gate with actual tickets. Well, we had tickets before to a plane. We're going home. We're going to go to Seattle, rent a car, Bellingham, pick up our cars. It's going to be awesome. They delayed the plane to take our luggage off. Yes. Did they actually? Were standing at the door. Essentially, that's what would have ended up happening. Did. Instead of just letting us on the plane. Okay, guys, so you'll find this funny. So on our way down, we were only allowed to put 40 pounds in our luggage, right? So they weighed all of our luggage. And my luggage came up to 43 pounds on the way down. Now, I put more stuff in my luggage coming back up, right? I bought a whole bunch of shirts, I a whole bunch of stuff. So it was all that added weight, right? Came up to 37 pounds. So does Allegiant weigh down their scales? Because I don't know how it could weigh less when I put more stuff in it. Like all my, all my souvenirs and merchandise. I'm calling you guys out, Allegiant, because I think you guys weigh down your scales. And guys, I found a vegan-friendly restaurant. I'm gonna get a burger. And guys, also this restaurant has a robot. Look at this robot, guys. It's totally, it's totally looking at her too. Can I interact with you? Wow, you're actually looking at me. Hello, my name is Pepper. Welcome to the Point the Way Cafe. Hello. I can show you our food specialties, our unique craft beers from our craft selection. What Tell me what you want to discover. What kind of vegan food do you guys have? Okay, just a second. I'm connecting with a chef to get his recommendations. <laughs> you can't go wrong with anything on our menu. Here are items to please most palates. Select a dish to learn more. What do you want to see? I don't think any of those are vegan though. The wings or the burger. I mean, the Southwest. Understood. It was a pleasure to help you. <laughs> it was a pleasure to help you too. It's still cool though. I'll give it that. Oh yeah, I gave you that big box for that. Vegan? Yeah. <laughs> Look at that flatbread. It's oh, a me. surfboard. And the funny thing is, it says pizza, but they don't have pizza on the menu. They should say flatbread. You know, the robot may not work, but their burgers are delicious. Oh my god, guys, this is hilarious. Reagan just got pranked. And she's never heard of this before. Look at this. She thought that was a real plug-in. It's a sticker. How have you never seen those videos before? It looks totally fake too. I mean, come on. Oh my God, guys, it was so funny. I couldn't stop laughing at Reagan for it. <laughs> I'm surprised she's not blonde. Hey guys, look, we're finally on a plane. How does everybody feel? Exhausted. Yeah. Oh my God, guys, it's 16 degrees here. It's going to be really cold back at home. I'm not really excited, but we're on the plane and we're on the home stretch. It'll only be a four hour car right after that. If we can find a car. <laughs> if we can find a car. No, we got a car. Because we rented a car, we think. It's reserved. The car we have. So.
Haha, -ha, guys, we made it to Seattle. Yeah. We just gotta go to Bellingham to pick up our cars and go back to Canada. Canada. <laughs> that was hilarious, guys. We told Emma to tie her shoes, and she left our little circle and went into oncoming traffic into the other side of the lane and just ties her shoes there. And we asked her why. She's like, oh, I was getting out of the way. But I'm like, you're walking in and blocking all the people that are walking towards you. <laughs> wow, we got to our luggage claim and it's already all sitting here. Look at this. It's not even going around the thing. I don't even get to play the luggage game. It's all just sitting here. Oh. So guys, it's 15 degrees here. It's like the same temperature as it is in LA. That's crazy. I think I just made actually somebody's day who works at the uh, car rental shop. You know, everyone says thank you and I'm like, Salamat. And he's like, that's my language. I'm like, I know, because I'm Filipino too. He's like, what? Yeah. Really? And we're like, yeah. <laughs> Mom's like, what? You've never seen a Filipino in a skirt before? <gasps> I totally made his day. Oh my God, guys, look at the beautiful car we got. Ford Expedition! Like Way better than a Dodge Caravan. I know it's a Ford, guys, but it is beautiful. I love big cars like this. Should we flip it? Yeah, look at all that room! Oh, shit. Oh, why do we... Why would the button be there? Guys, we got lots of room. Look, we got all of our luggage in. No problem. Now oh, we found her. Can I see your driving license? Oh, do we need one of those? Yeah. We you have get... a family one, is that okay? Hey guys, yeah, look, I found a POS. Haha, <laughs> <laughs> -ha, we made it back to the Bellingham Airport. Only an hour away from home and I am exhausted. Oh my god. I just want to like sleep. <laughs> but we are almost there. We are on the home stretch. And guys, look at how beautiful the sunset is. You guys see that? It's just absolutely stunning, guys. Yes, thanks. No? No. You miss me? No. Are you sure you miss me? No. I know. I tried. Oh, yes. 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 Not sure if you guys have noticed, but we made it back home. Finally. 10 o'clock at night. We were supposed to be back by like 11 a.m. Don't forget, guys, hit that like button and also subscribe. Pasta was like. You didn't, have my, you, you didn't have my pasta, did you? My vegan pasta? Anyway, we made it with the turkey and the sausage rice. 